Yeah, hell yeah. That's, those are good ones. Though. This is going to be interesting. That is the biggest damn hake I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and we haven't eaten one of these, so uh, pardon, pardon. we're probably going to take a crack at that see how he is. Uh, but first, I'm going to check and uh, see that he's not, you know, something that you mount on the wall first. So, recently, we went out on a little fishing excursion with my Uncle Perry on Thrill Ride out of Port Aransas, Texas. We had a whole lot of fun. We caught a whole lot of fish. And that includes a couple of species that you don't commonly get to see unless you're doing, you know, deep drops off of the uh, continental shelf out there. Uh, we pulled up some fish that, you know, live kind of deep and you normally don't get to catch. One of those fish is a hake. I have no way of saying whether or not it's a good to eat fish. Uh, so the only way to figure that out is by laying it up and cooking it and serving it to my wife and daughter and see what they say about it. So this is our Gulf Hake, only only three inches shy of a Texas record, I'm going to say. I will say this is a little reminiscent of filleting a walleye, it's kind of similar. Um, I mean, there's some obvious differences. This is not a perch, but there are some similarities to it. The meat feels like a hardhead little soft we're gonna keep we're gonna get this done quick get him on ice so that it doesn't get too soft I don't want it to be mushy I wonder if this is what it's like to play like a blenny I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of curious what a blenny tastes like maybe that'll be a future catching cook thing that we do so that's the architecture of it there are no Y bones so that you don't have to worry about that uh, you don't have to do your zipper thing like you would on a walleye uh, backbone is not too thick, so it's not too hard to cut around. Uh, pretty, pretty basic. They're soft, so it's kind of hard to get up in there. Um, but other than that, it flays out just like uh, just like any other regular fish. Let's skin that right now and see if that is any different. And I don't know. Maybe you can just leave it on the fillet. I don't know, but I want to get a taste for the meat before we play with anything like that. So we want no skin on this one. Now, looking at the fillet, you got your nice. It's white. It is soft, not much of a bloodline, so that's kind of awesome. You can see most of that's towards the tail anyway. Some of it came off with the skin, but I'm in a white piece of meat. Kind of curious to see how that looks like in the kitchen, which is uh, where we're going right now. Here we are. We are cooking up hake. Now, this is really intriguing to me. I caught hake on the very first fishing video that we ever did on this channel, and I did not have a chance to cook that up. We had a hurricane that came, took out our power, power was out for a little while. The stuff that I had in the freezer, including the hake at the time, it got old, I didn't trust it, so we didn't eat it. Now here we are a couple of years later, and I'm like, okay, we finally get to try this again, and I'm super, super excited about it. I've got it frying up right now. Rachel and Savannah are ready. They're gearing up, they're getting themselves pumped, and they're ready to go trying what I'm hoping is gonna be like this deep sea masterpiece of a fish. <laughs> you never know with this sort of thing, but you can hear them in the background over here. They're, they're ready and rare to see how this thing came out. The last time we did this was Bermuda Chub. You can check out that video in the comments in the description down below and all of that fun stuff, you know, up here, wherever it's gonna be. But right now we're gonna try a deep sea specialty. Um, as usual, I'm going to apologize for the appearance of my kitchen. I have not finished remodeling here, so you know what? Suck it up. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to feed my family bycatch of stuff that you don't normally eat. Today we're doing, well, hake, and obviously they're just going to go ahead and jump right on in. How do you, I haven't even had a choice. It filleted out like a kingfish or a trout to where it was a little bit mushy. I expected to hear you say that. And how it pulls away, it peels away, it shouldn't like that. Yeah, it looks me. I'm not gonna say mealy. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about it? I like it. Really good. Really? So, like, if I went and caught a whole bunch of these, you'd be like, hell yeah, daddy uh -huh. caught a bunch of hake. Uh huh, except I wouldn't say that. 
<laughs> exactly that, except you wouldn't say that? Yeah. Spot on. She ate 15 perch nuggets. Yeah. Putting that out there. She will eat any fish. She's like a, a cat. She, there has not been a fish yet that she has been like, I'm not eating that. Me too. I, I admire and respect it. that, Savvy. Thank you. It all comes from the bottom layer. Oh! <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little mushy at first. It does have the same layering, but it's not like last one. Not each other. Let's see. It's kind of amazing. Thoughts. Good thoughts! It's like a fish stick. You like fish sticks, though. Some people do. Some people are like, dude, I love my fish sticks. It, that's why she likes it. Remember when she was little and all she'd eat was fish sticks? You know what? Here's my two cents on Hake. It comes from the bottom of the ocean in like a thousand feet of water. Like the bottom of my heart. Like, there's no light where this guy comes from. They can go down to 2600. Look at Rachel coming in hot with the math. It's totally good. I'm all about it. You want to harvest a bunch of Hake? I would take it. I would take this fish, I would harvest it, and I would throw it in the freezer. The one problem that I have with this, yeah, it's a little bit mushy. It's a little bit stringy, actually. I kind of liken it to crab, although it doesn't have like a, a real heavy flavor like crab. The texture is like crab to me. It's soft, but it has a little bit of a stringy K-Rap. texture to it. Like and I, I do like the carrot. Here's the problem. So this guy lives way offshore in really deep water. This comes with a ton of mercury. You are getting the same amount of mercury in this little bite of what is effectively like a really good tasting kingfish. Tastes better than kingfish, but I same hate, texture. I hate kingfish so bad. Actually, I think that's what I eat kingfish. I yeah, think, it, you know me. but that's exactly my point. Yeah. Is Do it worth it for the mercury content? Absolutely not. That's why you go for barrel fish and you go for tile fish. If fair. you got totally skunked and all you got were a bunch of hake, make sure you put hake on eat. it. I would eat uh, that. Mercury count and eat it maybe once a week. Make sure you just monitor your intake. If that's all you're getting, dude, you can take that home and cook it up and it'll be just fine. Fish sticks. To mom's husband brings some hake, make fish sticks. Because she would just like all up on the. Yeah, yeah, it'd be like fish sticks. It's Gordon's fish sticks. <laughs> if you would like to see the uh, trip where we went and caught this guy, I've got that available for you right here. And of course, we've oh, always got one. the uh, season four playlist of all of the fishing that we've done available right down there. Please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for joining us. We will catch you in the next video.